You've probably heard of stem cell injections for knees and shoulders and hips to deal with pain or bone-on-bone degeneration of joints. But did you know that stem cells can also be used for neurodegenerative conditions? I'm talking about conditions like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Huntington's, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS, or frontotemporal dementia, or FTD. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with one of these neurodegenerative conditions, it can be pretty scary. So I just want you to know that stem cells is an area of research that will hopefully lead to some promising treatments. Hi, my name is Lisa Han Folletti. My husband and I opened our points of origin clinic over 22 years ago, and we've been practicing acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. In 2020, my husband had to retire though, and that's because he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. So my interest and my research on stem cells for these neurodegenerative conditions is personal. If you like sciencey articles, this is a nice overview. It's called Regenerative Stem Cell Therapy for Neurodegenerative Diseases, and it's in the International Journal of Molecular Science. It was printed in 2021. Rather than take you through each piece of the article, I just want you to know that there's a section for each individual disease, as I mentioned, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Huntington's, ALS, and FTD. The common thing that each of these diseases share is a progressive loss of structure, function, or number of neurons in the brain or spinal cord. The tricky thing is there's a lot that we don't understand about the causes or even the pathogenic process that results in the symptoms. And that makes treatment very difficult. And the drugs that are used often have significant side effects and in some cases are worse than the symptoms created by the disease itself. I know this sounds like I'm delivering a lot of bad news, but the really the good thing is, is knowing that there are stem cell therapies that are currently being researched and hopefully will lead to a greater understanding and treatment options for people with these diseases. Personally, I like to take a step back and just ask the question, what are stem cells? And I like this definition by Neil Rorden. He's the author of the book, Stem Cell Therapy, A Rising Tide, How Stem Cells Are Disrupting Medicine and Transforming Lives. And what he says is stem cells are the repair cells of your body. When there aren't enough of them or they aren't working properly, chronic diseases can manifest and persist. So in the case of these neurodegenerative diseases, I ask myself, why aren't the stem cells working or why aren't there enough of them? And more importantly, how do we get more and how do we get them working again? So how do we activate them and how do we increase the number? I'm glad to know that there's a lot of research going on and that it's in the field of injections and infusions. And I'm also happy to know that there's ways that we can activate them ourselves and remove toxins and things in the body that might be preventing stem cells from doing their job and repairing tissues and nerves. I know this is a short video. I just wanted to let you know that if you have a neurological condition or you know someone who does, there's hope. You don't have to read the long research article, although I will put the link to it in the description below. You could read this stem cell therapy book. It's good because it has a lot of really good stories in there and case studies. And remind yourself, you have stem cells in your body right now. I'll leave a link in the comments below to my upcoming stem cell activation course. And please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.